back with a brand new and super exciting video it is going to be a haul so this is going to be my first mexico haul <laughs> so when i moved here i had no plan on really buying anything but because you know we kind of like changed direction from merida to mexico city things have changed and i'm very happy about that because you know i don't know if you guys know but mexico city is just like new york it's literally like i don't know i just we just fit right in it was just like such an easy transition um i love merida but it, it was just too hot i just could not you know take the weather it's like 100 degrees every day so sorry about the background we just moved in friday today is tuesday yeah today is tuesday and yesterday was the first day that i got my mattress so i've been sleeping on the box spring which has been very difficult actually it wasn't that difficult i actually love sleeping on the floor so it was kind of like the same i don't mind that at all but i finally got my mattress it's gonna take me like perhaps like a month or so before i get everything set up i did have like um kind of like bed thing headboard here it was just way too big it was taking too much space so it's actually just in the living room we just had that move so bear with me um for now it's looking super basic in here but it is okay though i will hook up this little room um really really nicely this is going to be like you know where i'm going to be filming mostly um so yeah let's get into this video first let me tell you what i'm wearing what i'm wearing um this headband it's from mem shows with laura ashley that beautiful print is just so girly it's just giving me all the blair waldorf vibes <laughs> wakey wakey and my necklace i think i've said this in every video but my namesake uh, personalized leather necklace is from havewell i have a code for you where you can save 15 percent it's rose just my name and um it's gold you can do everything with it it is designed for you to just do all your activities so you don't have to take it off which is what i love about it because i hate taking off my jewelry i love to do everything i also have the matching ring if you could see here it has the r in there and this well i'm not even gonna talk about this this was a gift but um this is from monica Vinader. you guys know i am obsessed with pearls so i have a 20 percent code i will link that below if you guys are interested in checking this out my top this beautiful blouse is from Cezanne. i got it last year so beautiful i am in love with this blouse it's just like so many people actually wanted to buy this blouse um they reached out to me on instagram when they heard i was selling everything but i just could not sell this because the puff sleeve it's it's just the perfect thing and my shorts they're like linen they're from neiman marcus brand that i got last summer actually so let's get into this video so whilst i was in merida we were at the mall la isla um we decided to just go in and then i was just shocked by how beautiful the mall was like they have store there that i've been dying for us to have in the u.s that we don't even have um Sativaris, they are available on asos i will link this below so if you guys didn't know brown is very in right now i mean which makes sense because it's fall time you know fall is all about those kind of like brown those deep hues those kind of like burnt orange just kind of like those leafy you know when the leaves are changing color but brown is a color that i've never been into to be quite honest because it always reminds me of poop and i'm like i do not want to wear something that looks like poop when i went to the store i saw this i was just like this is a size small by the way i had to have it it's just like again as much as i'm not into brown i had to get this this is kind of like a chocolatey brown but at the same time i think because of the sun it's giving it like um it's making it like a more deeper brown over here but um it's like a chocolate brown it's like drinking like a cup of chocolate it's just like something simple because all i wear are like white shirts so i thought that i wanted something a little bit different to kind of like change the scenery of my outfits a little bit because how many times can i wear a white shirt i know you can never wear too many white shirts right but here we are that's uh, that's me and another thing that i actually got from the state that i never forgot um did a video on, it's actually the same brand as my headband mem shows as you can see here i got a size three over here i think i'm a size two but i love the three you guys know i love oversized everything 
but um, Laura Ashton did a collaboration with Mem Shoes and this beautiful print um, is from that collection. I went to the Hamptons to that and um, I got this shirt. Again, I wanted to deviate from all the white shirts that I wear all the time. I wanted to have something else. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of print. It's just prints just give me a headache, especially loud print. I just cannot deal with it. I love classic prints like polka dots stripe those are the kind of prints that i can go for but i thought this one was kind of like dainty very feminine that i can get away with like wearing this with like you know my off-white pants i actually just got one um for massimo duty i've been obsessed with massimo duty here which we don't really have do we have stores in the u.s i don't think we do but um yes so i thought that in the days where i want to kind of like switch up my looks a little bit this would be like a cool shirt to wear again the print is just so beautiful it's very feminine love it so that's that and for mango we've got mango here i went to mango you know the grandma sweater it's all the rage right now um they had the cream version but i wanted for the yellow i wanted to go for the yellow because you guys know yellow is my favorite color color and again the grandma sweater it's all the vibes you guys know i love granny she granny chic is my my style absolutely love it and um yeah i thought this was super cute this will keep me super warm because if you guys didn't know mexico city weather is perfection to me cool in the morning cool at night and warm during the day and sometimes it can just be cold all day so i really really love that on a really really chill day this would be perfect and also on a really chill night if i want to go out um this would be like a nice sweater to wear i got a size small but now i'm thinking i should have gotten like a medium or something because this may be a little bit too small for me okay next thing next this white dress you guys know i cannot stop buying white dresses i actually just ordered one from farfetch oh my farfetch code is still active i will link it below or i will link it in the screen if you guys want to check something out it doesn't expire until october 5th so if you've been on the lookout for something or if you have something in your bag on farfetch now it's a good time to do that to use that code um so i saw this beautiful dress i don't always you know do one shoulder because i can't really get away without wearing a bra Although I do have strapless bras, but they're not the most comfortable thing. I don't really like to wear them, to be quite honest, because they have the underwire. And you guys know anything with underwire, it just like stay away from me. So when I saw this beautiful dress, which actually Farm Rio has, in the yellow, which I actually shot Monroe and uh, Dumbo wearing that dress. And this is, you know, like uh, I found this at a local boutique called Kin something. But I will link the vlog somewhere on the screen if you guys want to check it out but i absolutely love it again it has a cutout on the side it's just so beautiful this would be like the perfect dress for when i kind of like travel to other places in mexico like if i go back to merida for like a couple of days or so this would be the dress that i would take with me because merida is super hot i don't really see myself wearing it too much over here in mexico city because this feels like more like a vacation dress to me and i feel like nobody here i feel like everyone here don't really wear like summer dresses it's just like they're always in like denim or something like that so this beautiful cardigan i actually had it last year but my cleaning lady washed it i believe and put it in the dryer or maybe i did i don't remember but it shrunk it just got so ugly i had to throw it out or give it away it's this beautiful cardigan from H&M and when I saw it here I had to have it again I had to buy it again because this was one of my favorite cardigan and my favorite thing about this cardigan is the buttons um, what I do find with most cardigan they don't have buttons or they have like those plasticky buttons and if you watch my how to look expensive video this is one of the tips that I give you in the video you can actually change the buttons on certain clothes to actually give it a more luxurious look so that's a little tip for you guys if you want to kind of like upgrade like a normal shirt or blazer just you know remove you know just kind of like change the buttons just get some gold buttons or something like this this will completely change the look of your cardigan and then this is the thing that everyone is doing now wearing the cardigan kind of like over the shoulder this seems to be the new trend so perhaps i will try that for you guys um it looks cute and everything but it's not that comfortable 
wearing that over your shoulders. This actually got an H&M in Leon. I went to Guanajuato um, last week. This is another sweater that I got from H&M also that I found. This is another sweater that I used to have. Um, the price is 399 pesos for this. I don't think I need to tell you the price, guys. Um, I'm going to link everything below if you want to check it out. And the prices are pretty comparable to the prices in the U.S., so this is one of my favorite sweater from H&M. I don't know what it is about the sweater, but it's just so warm. And then the color, that oatmeal color, it's a color that I've been dying to have in my wardrobe. I actually give the sweater away because, again, I had thought I was moving to Merida. I didn't think that I was going to need winter stuff, but here we are, which I'm very happy about. You guys know I love winter. Although I don't want to live in a place where it is like winter, winter, like New York winter and all that stuff but kind of like winter mexico city it's like a good winter for me because again it's warm during the day and then you know it's cool in the morning and nighttime. like that's my kind of weather now um but yeah i thought i would go for this one this is really really warm again this color is just so beautiful i can easily wear this you know with some shorts or something like that and also isaac told me took me to this um outlet mall in Leon again where they have kind of like Zara, Massimo Dutti, all the stuff on the sale, you know, an outlet mall. And then I found this blazer. Again, this is like an olive color, like a green color, which is not a color that I typically go for, but now that I've been wearing a lot of blazers, I've been wearing a lot of blazers. I put on my dresses and then I wear a blazer. I'm still a dress girl, guys. Um here and there I wear my pants. I do wear my pants quite often, but I'm still, you know, like a dressy girl. So I thought blazers is one thing that I absolutely need to add to my wardrobe. Like I said, especially if you live here, it's just good to like, especially if you live here and also you love dresses. Blazers are like a great thing to add to your wardrobe. You pop on a blazer and then you pop on like, you know, a freely dress and you're good to go. So I got this one from Massimo Dutti. Um, I think originally this was like 250 or something like that. I ended up paying half of, half of that i think i ended up paying maybe a hundred or less than a hundred for this um i thought it was a good price because massimo dutti have super you know like incredible quality although this is not a color that I typically go for so i thought you know i would actually just include this one to my wardrobe i really really love it i almost got the size six but I said convince me to get the four because it's just like the six is too big like you know I guess I need to take people to shop with me that will stop me from actually buying oversized things because you guys know I just I don't know I just can't help myself I have to buy oversized things and for mango again I got this beautiful dress this is like a bodycon dress you guys know I don't really wear bodycon dress but this is a knit dress I do love knit dresses in the fall winter time so I thought like if I'm going on a nice little date where I don't really want to wear like a jacket or a coat this dress will be the perfect dress to wear for that it's a v-necky over here and this was one this was um 9.99 pesos which equals to how much like 50 bucks which is the same that i would pay in the us for this and then it does has a slit on the side over here again i'm not a bodycon person but since discovering skims and stuff um i don't mind wearing like a bodycon dress but this is absolutely stunning it's so funny i have yet to try this but i know this is like a top of knit dress that i can get away with because i got so dark in merida my tent hasn't gone away yet it's gonna take you know some time especially it gets warm during the day so i still get like you know some sun not a lot though because mexico city is super cloudy like i was looking for london weather i got my london weather over here it's just so crazy it rains here all the time and i love it so my favorite moisturizer at the moment it's the tinted moisturizer all free from la mercier this is the best um my goodness i like tinted moisturizer um alongside the beauty counter one and my regular shade is 5nw or n1 5n1 and you know it's very warm so it's like super yellow now because i'm just like on the other spectrum i'm you know like very like a little bit 10. so i went in and got the 6n1 the mocha and this kind of like fits perfectly what i love about this it really doesn't transfer much on your mask like if you have to wear a mask all day like it doesn't like 
doesn't transfer like even if the mask takes some of it like you still have and the coverage is pretty good for this like I i'm very very impressed this is my favorite moisturizer um i'm a tinted moisturizer absolutely love it it just gives you the most natural finish it has although i don't like things with spf in them but this is only 20 so that's fine i really really love this so i see this cost me um this was 900 pesos which ended up costing me like 50 something bucks when in the state this probably would have cost me i don't know like 40 bucks i don't know how much it is because the other one that i got i got it for free from la mercia they sent it to me because i'm on their mailing list but again because i love this product so much i don't mind spending money that's one thing i love because i discover products to those brands that they sent me but once i run out i actually go out and actually buy the products because i really really love them Another thing that you guys that i unbox for you guys are my chanel's again i think the chanel sling bags are like the perfect shoe for mexico city because it's not the place where you can wear open toe shoes so you need like the perfect shoe to walk around all day that has you know a little bit of heel i think this is about three centimeters or 2.7 or something like that i don't remember i should have double checked but i unbox this for you guys if you want to watch that video i will link it somewhere on the screen but i do believe these are like the perfect shoe for mexico city um whether they go with everything they're like the chicest thing ever i mean they're chanel um they're just like perfect they go with my style especially my style it's kind of like parisian chic or and, and things like that it's either my style is Parisian chic or it's just like countryside, French countryside chic. So it's just kind of like a combo of those two, which works, I guess. But yeah, I've been wearing these to death. But the other day, I actually bust my ass running because it was raining and um i did not want these to get red so i took them out and then when we got to the uber here and then i was running and then i fell so hard so note to self check the weather to make sure it's not gonna rain but you never know here because it rains here all the time i'm already thinking that i need another pair or i want the flat one the flat ones are just like so beautiful so i may end up getting the flat ones as well which they did have in my size last time i was there so i may go back to get those another shoe you guys know i'm not a sneaker person but i finally found like a pair of sneakers that i absolutely love these are the eve sneakers from aerosol with laura ashley they did um they did a collaboration and these sneakers um were part of the collaboration and the print is just so beautiful so feminine i do find myself like at night time if i want to quickly go outside to just grab some food and also on sunday to go to the antique markets and stuff like that this is what i wear with like i still wear it for dress though i just pop on like a beautiful dress um, and then I pop, the, pop these on. They're like true to size. So I got my regular size at size 6. Again, this is from the Laura Ashley Aerosol collaboration. Absolutely in love with this. Another dress which I don't think you guys got to see is this beautiful black dress. This is from New Look. Um, you guys know I don't really wear black. But I always run into trouble when it's that time of the month. I can't really wear my white dress i mean i could but i do not want an accident and stuff like that so i always try to kind of like wear those off colors but turns out all my my wardrobe is mostly creams and white so it's gotten like hard so i thought i would invest not really invest this was like 40 bucks on new look i will link it below if it's still available or i'll look so um, i will link some similar ones for you guys if you're interested in this this is like the perfect little house dress to just have on you can actually wear it out as well if you need to run some errands and stuff like that but i got this on the asos this is from new look again it's kind of like the same style of dresses that i love i love the smocking detail absolutely love it you guys know this is my style of dresses it's just so easy it's just very flattering especially if you have um a larger chest like myself it's just so perfect again i love the sleeve three quarter it's like the perfect length for us if you have like a larger chest with maybe like shorter arms or something like that i absolutely love this one so i don't think you had a chance to see it but i thought i would show it on here and the next item which i'm not sure that i showed are this zimmerman shorts that i got this is like kind of like an amberish yellow color which is perfect for fall because it's not like a bright yellow it's just kind of like the perfect yellow for the fall time this i could actually wear it with um a beautiful blouse and then i can wear um a blazer over it this is a look that i can wear on a daily basis here in mexico city 
or I can take it on vacation. Actually, I got this on Farfetch also. If you're looking for this, check Farfetch. Absolutely love these shorts. It's just perfect. Again, I was looking for like a super classy. I love my linen shorts. Example that I'm wearing here, but I wanted to add to my wardrobe like a dressy pair of shorts. Like if I'm going to like a blogger event or something like that where I feel like I want to put my legs out, which is very rarely. But I thought that I could, you know, I needed a pair of like dressier shorts in my wardrobe for those kind of like days where I feel like, you know, I want to go to event wearing shorts or, you know, I want to ride a bicycle, but I want to take a cute photo of an outfit. I don't know. But this is the Louis Vuitton. This is like the skinniest one that they make. As soon as I saw this belt, I just knew I had to have it. Um, this is an 80. I am a size, I believe, 70 to 75. Um, but I just my size was not available, so I ended up going for this one. While I was at the store, I just ended up paying extra six bucks to have two holes added for me so it could fit me. Now I feel like it's too big. I think I lost weight since being here. So I think I may end up getting um the smaller one or i may have an extra hole added to this which is probably going to be too many holes but no one is going to notice you guys know this is my favorite color for all, all things kind of like a loewe that 10 color my bag is that color plus i have my ermine sandal that color so it's just like a perfect combination to wear with my shirt dresses it's just a perfect belt to just pop over anything that i have on and the last thing i guess that i will show you on here is a zimmerman dress again i got it on farfetch again if you're looking for zimmerman pieces farfetch is a perfect place to go because they have such a wide variety of zimmerman pieces highly highly recommend you check them out but um since being here i wanted just kind of like flirty dresses to kind of like wear out to dinner and things like that and also because of the weather here this style of dresses are like the perfect dresses to kind of like wear out you know like on dinner with your friends or your friend's birthday i actually wore this to deb's birthday dinner i absolutely love it i love this print so much i still think it's super girly and super dressy love love love, love it this is a size two i'm a size one for the room but i always get a size two because i always want extra space but for the shorts i had to stick to my regular size a size one because i don't really have any bottoms if you guys don't notice my bottom it's just non-existent i don't really have any curves like that's my struggle with like buying pants i buy the pants like especially me i love like high-waisted pants and one thing about high-waisted pants they always make them so big and it's a struggle for me because they just swallow me because I have nothing for them to hang on to. Even if I get the smaller size, I still have trouble. And for as long as I can remember, I've always had trouble finding bottoms. Bottoms is all, it's, I can't even say bottoms. The top always been a, the biggest struggle because of my chest. And so is my bottom because my chest is so big, but my bottom is just like so tiny. So it's just a struggle which is why i love wearing dresses because with dresses i don't have to think about it it's just like super easy one two three to be show you the perfect pair of pants i really wish they were like a little bit smaller this is a size two i do feel my someone did have size zero again they always cut them like a little bit too large like if they had gone like maybe one inch it would have been like mm, two inches it would have been perfect for me but these are like some of the most comfortable pair of shoes and uh, shoes pants and most flattering i love the buttons and the front to be quite honest because zippers sometimes can feel like a little bit too manly for me in a pair of pants or trousers sometimes i prefer buttons it's the same with jeans like zippers on denim don't really fit me around the crotch area i'd always look weird for some reason buttons on denim like actually most flattering on me what i love about these are like the bag because they have the pockets and also it has some pleats on the back it gives the illusion that i have a little bit something going on but i guarantee you there's nothing going on in the back so don't don't count on it but yeah these are from a small duty do you look these were like a little bit expensive i think i paid I don't know how much did i pay for these like 75 or even like 100 bucks or something like that so i also got this beautiful pearl bag 
from um, the antique market I will leave the link below if you guys are in Mexico City and you want to check out antique market it's every Sunday but you guys are almost obsessed with pearls as soon as I saw this I was like oh come to mama although the pearls are just like they're peeling off I think that's the beauty of this it just looks so vintage it's just like such a perfect clutch and also I don't really have clutches or bags like this like you know on a night out um to take with me so this would just be like the most perfect thing ever and like i said i mean to me this is just like great condition i'll wipe it down i did wipe it down with a baby wipe um you know it shows signs of you know wear which is fine for me because i feel like that's the beauty of vintage stuff sometimes it's you know like the sign that it was well loved and i absolutely love this you guys know i don't really buy black bags i don't really buy black things i stay away from black accessories i think sometimes it could be a little bit too stuffy for me um too formal i don't really like it and also black reminds me of kind of like sadness because i think i've explained to you guys before the reason why i don't like to wear black because whenever i wear it i kind of like feel sad a little bit here and there i'm still kind of like experimenting with it more um but because you know in my culture when like a close family member dies you wear a dirty so you greet them by wearing black for however many years if it's your father you can wear black for like five years you can't wear any other color or like any bright color um I think I did my dad for like a couple of years, you know, if it's your mom, some people, they can do it for like 10 years or even forever. Um, you know, if it's your aunt, then you feel close to them, you know, like everything has, it depends on the person also how close you were to them. But because of that, that's the reason why I don't like to wear black. Cause so um, if I go for black things, I usually try to go for something fun, like this dress, like, you know, like so, or a pair of shorts like this one, something that is just like cute and feminine. And this bag actually will be perfect for when I have to go out. I may be going somewhere super fancy very soon. So this will be the perfect thing to kind of like bring with me. I got this little pearl thing. I buy so many of these pearl things. I actually found a few on H&M Home that I got that I brought with me. But um, I must have shells and pearls. So I wanted some just like um, dramatic pearl earrings i ended up going for these at the antique market do watch that vlog um go see my girl carol she will be there you can check her out um i think i paid like 100 pesos for this or something like that and then i got these which i wore today because this reminds me of the majuri croissant earrings look look at this this is so cute okay guys this has been it for my vlog i hope the lighting is good again the sun is blazing typically it's always cloudy but for some reason today um it's super sunny and i needed to get this video i needed to film this video today because i am off to miami tomorrow morning let me know um you know how you feel about my first mexico haul if you like the items um if that's not what you're expecting i know you're probably thinking oh nothing's changed it's just kind of like the same stuff yeah same i'm very surprised i'm just like so so incredibly happy that we kind of have like the same stuff or even better stuff over here <laughs> to be quite honest the shopping is incredible the shopping malls over here are just like so so great like oh my goodness like if you do not know how to control yourself you're gonna be in big trouble like myself like i need to like stay away from the malls and actually stay home and actually do my work <laughs> that's what i need to do do let me know what else would you guys love to see on my channel i would love to know what interests you guys what do you want to see do you want to see more fashion or more mexico again i am vlogging almost every day so be sure to check out all my vlogs check out my channels and everything like that i'm vlogging i'm traveling around um so yeah subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel like what are you doing if you're watching and you're not subscribed yet please just subscribe and also to follow me on instagram so that way you can see my everyday because there are certain things that make it to instagram that never makes it to youtube and your notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.